In this step, we're going to create our second material, which is going to be a glossy white plastic. And this is going to be a little bit more complex than the last material. And we're going to learn more along the way. So we're also going to apply that to the main part of Blip so that uh, most of his materials will be done. I'm going to open my content drawer, which I can just open in this window, which is fine. I'm going to go back to my materials folder and I'm going to create a new one. And this one's going to be called M underscore glossy plastic like that. And we'll open it up. And you can see, because I've already got something docked, instead of opening in a separate window, this is also now docked, which I quite like. It's quite a useful thing that it does for you. So I'm just going to right click to move my results node over here so that I've got some space. Because what I'm not going to do this time is just use the base color here. I'm going to use uh, some nodes to plug into these because it's more powerful. We can do more that way. We can do like mathematic operations and merge different nodes together. It's a lot cooler. So for really simple materials, yes, you can do things straight on the results node, but it's better not to. So we want this to be a white color in the base color. And to do that, we're going to create a constant. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click and start typing constant and it'll come up at the top. And as I said in the introduction video to this um, a constant is basically just a number I could also have gone into my palette and typed for constant there but I just prefer right clicking so the palette's there it's good for like searching through but I, I always just tend to right click and then in here we're going to set the number to one because this is a value of lightness essentially so zero would be black white would be one so we're just going to plug that into there and when this updates, you will see that that starts looking better already. It looks white. Perfect. What I also want to change is the roughness of this one, because it's important that this looks glossy for this material to work. So we're going to create another constant. There it is. I'm going to plug that one into roughness and it's set to zero, which means it's going to be very, very shiny. So it's not rough at all. And that's OK, but that's a little too glossy for me. So I actually like to set this to 0.15 which is about 15% rough. And that's it for this material. So we haven't changed too much really, except I've now showed you that we can connect things to the imports rather than just using the values on here. So let's save that material. We're going to go back to our blip material test. Let's just find, yep, that's the one that we want. So I'm going to search for glossy. And there we go, he's starting to come together already. In the next step, we're going to create a chrome metallic style material for his metal bits, which are like his arms, legs, and antenna. So I'll see you in the next step for that. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.